American actress and sometimes songstress Evan Rachel Wood was born on the 7th of September 1987 in Raleigh, North Carolina, and began her acting career while still a child in the mid-1990s. She eventually became known to the international audience primarily through her award-winning lead role in the feature film Dreesen 13 in 2003. She has now been involved in almost 50 films and television productions to the present. So, just how rich is the entertainer? It's estimated by Celebrity.Money that the outright size of Evan Rachel Wood's net worth is over $10 million, as of the data presented in late 2017. Acting is the main source of her wealth. To begin with, when still a child, Evan Rachel Wood appeared in the plays of her father, Ira David Wood III, who had founded an experimental theater called A Theater in the Park. After the divorce of her parents in 1996, Wood moved to Los Angeles with her mother and brother Ira, where she gained experience in the mid to late 90s as an actress on television, including appearances in the series American Gothic, Profile, and Touched by an Angel. In 1998, she took the supporting role of Sandra Bullock's film daughter in Practical Magic, and then landed the lead role in Timothy Hutton's film Digging to China, co-starring with Kevin Bacon and Mary Stuart Masterson. After her role as Chloe Waters in the third season of the series Profiler, Wood was in the critically acclaimed family series Once and Again, aired from 99 to 2002. Her net worth was certainly now well established. In 2002, Evan Rachel Wood played the film daughter of Al Pacino and Catherine Keener in the film Simone. A year later, she succeeded with the lead role in Catherine Hardwick's drama 13, being nominated for a Golden Globe Award as Best Drama Actress. At that time, Wood was considered to be one of the most talented young actresses in Hollywood and worked on six film projects through 2005, including the dramas Down in the Valley, alongside Edward Norton, and the tragic comedy Running with Scissors, with Annette Bening and Gwyneth Paltrow. She also appeared with her friend Jamie Bell in the music video Wake Me Up When September Ends by the American punk rock band Queen Day. Her net worth was a rising. From 2009 to 2011, she was seen as the glamorous and bankrupt vampire queen Sophie Ann Leclerc in the HBO series True Blood. In 2014, she landed the lead role in the comedy drama Barefoot by Andrew Fleming, and Evan also starred with Ellen Page in the drama film Into the Forest in 2015. Since 2016, she has been playing the main role of Dolores Abernathy in the HBO series Westworld. Clearly, she is still in demand. Almost as an aside, with Zach Villa, Evan formed the duo Rebel and the Basket Case in 2015, initially to produce just one song, Oh Yeah, but eventually enough for an album yet to be released. Finally, in the personal life of the actress, Wood began a relationship with the actor Jamie Bell in 2005, but it supposedly ended in 2006. At the beginning of 2007, Wood and Marilyn Manson got together, but supposedly broke up at the end of 2008, only to reunite at the beginning of 2010. In the summer of 2011, Wood announced resuming her relationship with Jamie Bell, and the two married in 2012 and now, whew, have a son. However, in 2014, they separated again, perhaps unsurprisingly, as in 2012, Wood admitted to being bisexual. Then, Wood dated actress Catherine Monig, but in January 2017, she became engaged to her rebel and a basket case bandmate, Zach Villa, then called it off just a few months later. Yes, what fun. What next? <laughs>